Today we're talking to Altrincham midfielder Josh uh, Lundstrom. And uh, first of all, Josh, it's uh, just a few days since our last encounter against Notts County. Very controversial uh, first goal. You weren't too far away from uh, the action. Uh, what happened from, from your perspective? Yeah, so obviously a bit of an unfortunate one for us. They've got a free kick on the edge of the box. I think it was probably a foul, to be fair. The lad's gone down. And then we're obviously, Ollie's sorting his wall out. We're kind of around the ref a little bit, maybe complaining. And then I, th I think the ref said to them, um, or th they've said to the ref even, can they take it quickly? Obviously the ref's then kind of, I don't know if he's nodded or he said, yeah, obviously we've not heard that. We're not in that conversation. And they've put the ball down and they've passed it to um, Langstaff and he's put it in an empty net. So there's not... Not a lot we can do about it from our point of view. Maybe we've got to be a bit a bit cleverer, maybe stand in front of the ball or maybe switch on a little bit more. But at the same time, I think it's very unfortunate. You don't see many goals like that. I mean, I, I haven't seen it this season. A lot of the times the ref's got to blow his whistle before, especially in that area when it's so close to the goal, you think the ref's got to blow his whistle before the, before the restart, but obviously not on this occasion. So uh, we I thought we came back from it well though obviously we could have dropped our heads straight away I think probably was within about 10 minutes we go down the other end and we get a penalty and unfortunately it doesn't go in but we reacted well from it we've we done we done well for the rest of the game and then obviously second half he's given them another decision what's probably could go either way it's gone for them again and that's probably kind of finished off the game but it was a game that we were in there's been two decisions that have not gone our way obviously we've got the penalty as well but that was it was a, sto a stonewall penalty as you're going to see it was no doubt the ref the ref couldn't not give that one but obviously them two moments have gone against us and any big game like that, when you're playing tough opposition, obviously oh, we're not taking anything away from them. They were they were the better side on the night. But them two big moments in the game, definitely gone to them. So we'll dust ourselves down and we'll go again. And how good would you say Notts County were? Because uh, they, they certainly knocked the ball about better than any side we've played against this season. Yeah, of course. Like we At, at times we struggled to get the ball off them. They were so... Uh, they're so open but then at the same time they're so secure on the ball that they can afford to be that open obviously their keeper plays really high as well the defensive line's high so even if we do win the balls are quite you would have seen quite a few times we're offside because you're just so eager to get into that space and then before you know it you're obviously offside but yeah credit to them the way they kept the ball was was really tough we couldn't we couldn't really we couldn't do it ourselves obviously obviously they pressed us as soon as we got the ball but then if you look at the chances in the game I don't know how many saves Ollie's had to make obviously they had loads of territory but I'm not sure they created, maybe they probably created the same amount of chances as us and we had good chances as well. So there's no, if that game happens again, there's no, there's no reason why we couldn't score a couple of goals and maybe, maybe it's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, there was that. I can only re remember Ollie having to make one really good save down to his uh, right, but uh, we defended very well. Uh, the frustration from a fan's perspective, I think, was that if we'd have played them on the last Tuesday of the, of the season, which is when we wanted to play them, without a huge game ahead of it, we could have gone full throttle at them. And I think we'd have given them a really, really good game. Yeah, we, you can say that, can't you? We've well, Obviously, we, we, it's gone now. We can't we can't uh, dwell on that. I think, obviously, it does have an effect because, obviously, seen Isaac's come off in the first half. He's got a book in. Obviously, we, we, he's a massive player for us. We can't afford for him. Obviously playing against good players, so he missed times one more tackle, he could be off, and then all of a sudden he's out of the biggest, probably the biggest game of the season on Saturday. So we can't take any, obviously it was a good decision, we can't take any risks of him. So yeah, we probably would have liked to play on the last day, this, last Tuesday of the season, but it's not, it's not in our control, unfortunately, is it? And last week you became uh, the latest in a, a long list of uh, illustrious uh, players who play for Altrincham Football Club, who've uh, got an England C uh, cap and. Tell us about about the the, the whole experience uh, right from from uh, arriving at the hotel on the Sunday. Yeah, so we arrived um, on the Sunday at Cotton's, obviously just down the road from here. Um, obviously met all the lads. It was like it was a bit of a strange one because obviously it's almost like one player from every team, so you know you know who everyone is, but you've never really like spoke to them. So obviously just introduce yourself stuff like that. So the Sunday night, obviously we had food together, got all your kit sorted, hotel rooms, etc., and then. We like had some probably like an hour and a half meeting where we just kind of found out about each other. So we knew our teammates. It was quite good. We had to uh, talk about ourselves for about I think it was a minute, ninety seconds, and it was a quite it's quite a good um, experience really because through that hour you ended up knowing so much about all your teammates just from that hour one set that hour long session. So that kind of like brought us together a little bit. Obviously they they lost four 0 last year to Wales, so I think within the staff there was a bit of a feeling of we like we owe Wales we owe we owe Wales one if anything. So. I think they were really determined to kind of get the group together and make sure 
that kind of 4 nil experience doesn't happen again, which I think they did well, to be fair. They brought us all together and on the pitch, even though we'd not played before, played with each other before, we were quite quite a good team. So I think that got, that got us the win in the end. And on the Monday and the Tuesday, uh, I think you trained at Edgerton here on, on the Monday and then Manchester United on the Tuesday. Yeah, so we trained there on the Monday. Um, a few of the, the under the under 18s, under 17s trained with us. So that was a good experience for them. They were all there in their England kit. They were smiles all over their faces and a lot of them, lot of them did really well. So it was good to see them there as well. Um, that was kind of like an 11 by 11 session out on the Astro here at Edgerton. Um, just kind of going through the team, how they wanted us to play, all that kind of stuff. And then on the Tuesday morning, yeah, we went to Manchester United. Um, that was just kind of set pieces, walkthroughs, because obviously we got the game in the evening. Just go over, go over any last tactics. And then we were straight back to the hotel and obviously to, Al to Alti for the game. And the game itself, uh, conditions were, were, were not great. Uh, um, the pitch was, was very wet, certainly in the, uh, in the first half and the early parts of uh, the second half. And it, it was punctuated by a lot of injuries to England players in that first half. Yeah, it was, quite, it was quite a strange start to the game. They didn't really have any flow to it. So I think maybe three or four injuries. Obviously, Elliot was, went for the England physio. I think he was on the game four times and on the pitch four times in the first 15 minutes. So it was, especially with how they were playing as well, it was a lot of kind of long ball from them. The ball was going off the pitch a lot. Then the injuries, I think like the ball was hardly on the pitch for the first 20 minutes. But especially with, I like said about the pitch as well, it wasn't great. So I was telling the lads, they was, they was asking how the pitch was going to be. I was like, yeah, we've not played on it for four weeks. It should be good. And then we got there and obviously it rained that much. It was underwater and obviously any pitch when it rains that much is going to, is going to cut up a little bit. So it wasn't great for us to play on, but we kind of found a different way to win. We almost had, we had to, we knew we had to kind of match them physically, the same as obviously we have to do every Saturday in this league. It was kind of a similar battle. It was a bit similar to a National League game where we had to compete and then our quality shown through once or twice and that, that probably got us the win in the end. And how did uh, the role that you were asked to play on that particular game uh, was that different or the same as the role that you asked to play for Altrincham? Yeah, it was a little bit different because obviously we didn't really have any natural wide players on the day playing. I was kind of playing in like a wide centre mid role with we had two two kind of big like wide forward strikers, but they were obviously tucked inside a little bit, so we didn't have much width. So um, I had to kind of come out to the right and play play down the side a little bit more, which I don't mind because obviously when I play higher in midfield for Alti, I kind of can make them runs down the side. So I was trying to do a little bit of that, but it was. It was it was good to play in a different a different um, kind of setup and just work with different players for a change. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Yeah, and it it seemed that uh, it took you a little while to get into the game. You didn't see too much of the ball in the early stages, but as the game wore on, you, you, your influence gradually increased. Yeah, I think obviously in any game, it's the first twenty minutes is obviously a bit higher tempo. It's very like it's kind of no no room. Uh, it's like a slugging match kind of thing. Like the ball's just up, back, up, back, and there's not a lot of space to get on the ball. And then obviously, as the game goes on, it opens up a little bit. And then second half, we changed formation. I think we went to a four-four-two, and I was in centre mid on my own, which is probably more of a natural position for me, and I'm more used to it. So I, I can get on the ball a little bit more. I know where I'm going a little bit more. Cause obviously, I've played there pretty much the whole season, so that helps me a little bit in the second half, get more into the game. Yeah. A very proud moment when you received your England cap in the in the sponsors lounge at Altrincham Football Club after the game. Yeah, of course. Obviously, that was a special moment. I think even a bit made it a bit more special. It was obviously at Alti. I think um, obviously all the um, the directors and stuff that were there were buzzing to see me get that and following the footsteps of some previous legends at the football club. So, yeah, it was really good. So Saturday now, and we're all very, very excited about this uh, FA Trophy semi-final against uh, Halifax Town. Is, is this the biggest game that, that you've played in in your career? I think, yeah, in terms of uh, a chance to progress right to the final of a really prestigious competition, it's going it's to be right up there. Yeah. Obviously, to play at Wembley as well would be a, a goal of mine. That would be brilliant to to play there and well, to try and win there as well. It's not just getting there. We've got we, if we. If we do get there, of course, we've got a, a job to do. It's not just getting to Wembley. But obviously, Halifax are a tough side. We're not, we know when if we're far from there yet. Yeah, it's going to be a really tough game. It's a cup game. You know, anything can happen. It doesn't matter if it doesn't matter who you're playing. If you're playing bottom of the league, playing top of the league, it's, it's going to be a 50-50. Whoever, whoever performs on the day, maybe you need that little bit of luck as well. You know, it's a knockout competition. But if we, we're at home, aren't we? The way we've been playing at home, we feel like if we keep producing them performance levels, we've got a right chance. And it's easy to say it's just another game. In terms of the preparation, the mental approach to it, is it just exactly the same as every other game or is it a bit different? 
you'd be, I think you'd be stupid to say it's exactly the same as every other game. You know, it's obviously it's a semi final. It's not. There's no second chances. But as much as you can, we'll we'll keep it the same. We'll we'll approach it just as we do every other game. Everything will be the same, and we'll t we'll try and bring that attitude as much as we can. And obviously, obviously, we'll just leave everything out there on the pitch. You know, there's no second chances, so we'll be ready. We'll be ready to go. And we had these six away games on the bounce, but before that, three some fantastic uh, home performances and results. And we've come back with two games uh, this week: a victory over Southend and a defeat against uh, Notts County. We're in pretty good shape at home. Yeah, I think our performance levels obviously. We've had some good results, but even when we maybe not had the best of results, our performance levels at home especially have still been been really good. So there's no reason why um, we're not going to continue that. And obviously, you'd expect when your performance level's high at home, we, sh we should be able to get the win. Yeah, if, if we can reproduce what we did against Woking and against uh, against Solihull uh, Moors, there probably is only going to be one winner on, on Saturday. Yeah, well, that, that's what we're aiming for, them to... Two games against Solio, we were right at it. I think one to eleven, everyone was um, pretty much on top of the men, and that's what we need tomorrow night. We know it's going to, be, um, sorry, Saturday. So that's what we need. Everyone needs to be on it. To get, make sure your man doesn't get the better of you, and then that should take care of itself. And Tuesday night, playing in the game, did you have one eye on? Was it was it difficult for you playing in that game? Um, to be fair, once obviously the whistle blows, it's, 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 it's difficult to think of anything other than. Um, the game in front of you, to be honest, for me, doesn't really doesn't really matter in that sense. Um, I'm just thinking of that game. Obviously, if you if you've got your mind on um, an, another game in in four days' time, in the middle of a tough game against Notts County, it's not going to go well for you. Obviously, when you play against that level of opposition, you need to, your concentration needs to be 100 percent because if you switch off for one moment, that's it. They're in. So now, just fully focus on the game in hand. And finally, uh, Josh. Uh your partnership with uh, Isaac Marriott in, in, in the centre of the midfield has, has been fantastic uh, ever since Isaac recovered from, from his injury and it's made a big, big impact on our, a big positive impact on our season and it's difficult to see a better partnership in, 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 the, in the league. Yeah, he's, obviously I love playing with Isaac, he, he, everyone's seen it and he's, he covers every blade of grass, he doesn't give his opposition um, any time on the ball at all and it's like we... we um, kind of complement each other quite well so if, if he goes out and impresses I can kind of tuck round and just kind of be that be that insurance really so kind of just let him go off and do what he's really good at but then by the same way he started to some games he started to come a little bit deeper has allowed me to go forward so yeah we work really well together. So that's the thoughts of uh, Josh uh, Lundstrom on uh, the controversy of the first goal against Notts County uh, by Notts County on Tuesday night. He The prestigious uh, uh, achievement of getting his first uh, England cap against Wales last week and looking forward to Saturday's FA Trophy semi-final against FC Halifax Town at the J Davidson Stadium which kicks off at 3pm. Buy your tickets if you've not got them yet.